Uh, welcome. This will be my third demo review. I hope it's good. So here we go. Oh, I'm sleepy. Alrighty, um, if they decide to rush out mid, you'd have your f nade out when they were at the entrance there, and they would just kill you, so be aware that they could be at mid when you're crossing the highway. So right then you should have known that they were too sight because your teammate just died and you heard the shooter killing him like right under you and you know that the other guy's already back there so you had no reason to look towards where your teammate was. Uh, maybe you thought he was an enemy or something. But yeah. That's good. Yeah, you should be a little more careful <laughs> when trying to get the gun. But yeah, he was really pushed out of B. He shouldn't even be doing that really, so it's not your fault. Um, you just dropped mid, but you do have a teammate forklift, so you're both watching the same angle. I don't know if he called that they're A main or something. But I would um look at highway from here on the other side of E-Box to see, make sure they're not running up, which they are. So yeah, you're watching the same angle as your teammate, and unless like they're all coming out of A main, there's no reason to do that versus either going to site to look at highway or looking at highway next to e-box going to site would probably be the best choice there instead of sitting on top of it again they could be at the mid door when you're throwing that nade if they rush it and try to go for the quick peek or get a good spawn I don't know why people shoot out vent like that, like you just did, because it really just helps the enemy team. If it gets down to like a 2v2 or something, they don't have to break it, letting you know that they're mid. So I don't know, I think it's just an ADD thing, but I wouldn't do it if I were you, like ever. Angles he looking at. I don't know how to use this spectating system, but I think your teammate saw him come out. I don't know if he caught it or not, but you were caught off guard there. Um, you should have known that one pushed out squeaky and killed the sight guy, and since that was kind of smoked off. You shouldn't really ramble into sight like that when your teammate's truck and your other teammate's still rotating from B. You should wait for the B rotate to come closer and start to work the sight together versus you trying to get to forklift really early, which would be really good if you could get there. 
but like you saw, it's dangerous to try to just rush to forklift when they have the site and are still coming out of A main. So try to wait a little bit more. You're on max money loss bonus. So I, I'd at least buy a smoke. Even if you're opping, you'd have enough next round to buy it in nades and armor. And smokes are really important for mid. It's also really hard to play mid alone like this. I don't know why. Why that's the setup your team's doing. Yeah, if you bought the smoke last round, you'd have enough to buy everything you just bought, besides head armor, but you know they all have AKs from last round still, and they have a shit ton of money because they've won every round. So you could have skimped on the head armor and gone for the smoke the last round. I'm surprised you mollied boost there, because two rounds ago, you kind of were just playing this bull peaking mid. I guess it's because mid smoke now, but if you're playing mid alone, you have to be very careful when you peak boost, and you cannot just peek out like that and try to molly it, because that will happen. You have to jiggle peek it, and even still, jiggle peeking is really dangerous. Since you're alone mid, you should just do what you did the other round and just watch the entrance here. And if they happen to drop, they drop, and you take the fight closer to box here rather than taking this long fight. And if they push you to smoke when you're taking this fight, that's bad too. I mean, it's just a really hard spot to play alone. I don't know why you're alone here. Usually if you're alone, you're going to be giving it up and playing highway from up here once they do take control of mid. Or playing Z and hiding and telling your team when they're near highway with audio cues again head armor you should definitely get a smoke instead of head armor at least you have two mid this time Um, did you guys smoke mid? I, I'm assuming your teammates smoke mid, yeah. So you don't have to hide sandbags like that. It's a pretty strong spot to fight boost at. And even if you don't win the battle, but you stay alive and they know your sandbags, it's not really like the end of the world because they're 99% of the time they will check sandbags. So even if you give away your position there, it doesn't really matter because they're going to be checking it anyway. And like I said, it's a really strong spot to fight boost at. Especially since you have a FAMAS and your teammate had a P90. You're not going to win if you let them all swarm out. You have to take fights and hopefully win the fights. Um, I don't know why your teammate just left B. That's okay. Got lurked on, kind of. Just throw away around. Okay, should I just do this? That's kind of unlucky, but. A lot of people do run up this wall here when they're trying to go close to mid. And that's what that's how you die because they know you're trying to do that and they saw you for a second. So you could either smoke it from oh back here, wait for your smoke to pop and then move forward. 
So you could also throw a smoke when you're running through Z. You can bounce it off the wall up here. You have to learn that one though, but it'll let you smoke mid a lot faster, letting you walk up here without them seeing you for the split second that they did. And also you don't really need two people close mid. It's kind of really bad because if they go out boost, you cannot trade this guy if he dies. That's if you're far back, though. I don't know, I forget what I just said. <laughs> you could play too close mid, but you should probably crossfire in that case. And that's good. It's actually kind of funny <laughs> watching uh, Eagles demo versus a uh, Nova's demo because I could see that this difference in skill is here, and you do use nades versus how they use it and everything. That was good as you could see. They lined up. Uh, after you get that first pick, you could either do what you did. But 99% of the time, they'll get the trade since they know exactly where you are and they have peekers advantage. In that case, they obviously didn't get the trade, but that's on them, not really on you. And you can't rely on them not getting the trade. But you do know that they're really close, so you could have the mindset that you do need to battle them. But also, after you get that first pick, you could also fall back a little. <sighs> Go back to this box, hide there, let them come out into your crosshair. And also make them look for you a little bit more. Uh, you don't really need to peek there, you could go back, back to the box there for sure. Especially since your team is so far away. That's not how you smoke that, out. unless you want it to be a one-way. You heard the other guy drop, but it's kind of hard to hear that in-game with people talking and everything. pretty wide which did pay off because you killed that guy who wasn't suspecting it and even if you your teammate shouldn't have died there but since he did you should have played a little more passively at the sandbags looking up so you don't die to this guy so you keep mid control a little bit longer and maybe let one of your A guys go highway to help you which they should be doing anyway I don't know why you have 2A like that not near highway 
even though one did just die mid. So yeah, it's better to keep keep mid control a little longer by hiding here instead of wide peeking out and exposing yourself to boost mid and up there. Hide there, kill the guy up there when he tries to look down, because that's a really hard shot to make, aiming up and down. And if they do push you over here when you're sandbags, you could still crouch there and hide and let the A guys come and help you out. It's a little too risky to just wide peek like that into all those angles when you don't really know where they are made. Um, you should try to bounce that molly off like this corner so it'll get in the sight more versus back here where they probably won't be. That's not really a duel you need to take unless you're super confident because they will be pre-aiming it. And you could die really easily, and if you give up the pick that early in the round, it's a lot of trouble. But it's not a bad thing to do, like, maybe once a game. It's also not a good thing to do, though. I assume the bomb was spotted on the radar at this point if he didn't call that there's three running up mid so I don't know why you're walking. If you're worried about a lurker you could still run and by running you're gonna bait him out into wide peeking you and then you could be looking there already expecting it. Oh, It's, it's a really slow rotate and it needs to be fast. Yeah. You should have died there. Um, I don't know why you were more worried about the psych guy than the guy you could see shooting you up there. Maybe you didn't see him. But you should have because he was literally right there shooting you. And I think he's, re yeah, he's really lit. So you probably could have killed him instead of focusing on the psych guy. Damn, he just got naded for 92. Okay, right there. <laughs> you do not need to wide peek and run across like that without... Clearing having, clearing CT, clearing having shot. You just ran and exposed yourself to all three angles. And you couldn't really do anything because you're getting shot by two people. That's good. Um, I guess there's not really that much you could do about that. You could try to run out a little more kind of where your teammate is because sight smoked off and you're already exposed to truck but I mean that's just a fight you lost
Again, you're on max money loss. You could buy a smoke or a flash. I get that kill up a hundred percent of the time. Probably get that kill a hundred percent of the time, but it's, I really hate that smoke that they can always do there, because you never know if they're sneaking into me. So, um, you seem to be more the lurker slash support type because you're always watching the flank, making sure they're not coming around. But right then, it was either two versus five or two versus four, and your teammates peeking mid like that. You can make sure they're not like close flanking here, but at that point, you need to either help them take mid together, or go A together, or go B together. You need to do something, but you're just walking around still looking for the flank. Uh, there's two people who did end up pushing, but you still didn't kill them. So you could say that, again, is due to your aim slash spraying. Because you have been missing a lot of kills that you should be getting. Again, you have a teammate up there and you're sitting sunroom. You could say to yourself, well, yeah, I didn't tell him to go up there. I don't agree with him going up there. But the fact of the matter is he did go up there. He is up there right now battling. You should play off of what he's doing versus saying to yourself, I don't want to go up there. He shouldn't be up there. Fuck that. It's better just play with your teammates even if they're doing stupid shit. Um, your teammate was just battling the guy through that little crack in the smoke, so it's not a good idea to just walk up to it like that, because the CT would definitely still be looking at it. Oh, you had a smoke? Well, I mean, you already know what I'm about to say if you did have that smoke. <laughs> I hate this demo system. No, oh, what round am I on? Right? Why am I on round five? Well, I'm gonna assume you did have that smoke. Yeah, you did. So, uh, let's see. So after clearing quad and fence and sight kinda, you should definitely smoke smoke the cross there so that so you don't get opt like you just did. But also smoking the cross makes a diversion for these two guys mid. Because they're gonna see that the CTs are gonna see that you just smoke cross and are probably coming out. But they don't know how many are coming out. And both your guys are mid, so they could easily go B if the CTs do end up over-rotating. And they also can kill them while they're rotating, catch them off guard. So yeah, you definitely should have smoked it there. It would have done a lot to help. So I guess that's it, right? Yeah, so... You're obviously a lot better than the uh, <laughs> Gold Novas that I reviewed previously. So there's not 
that much to say about you. I'd say work on your aim mostly. You seem to just be getting out dueled, like you know where they are. You have a good idea of how to play places, but you're losing aim duels you really shouldn't be losing. I think that's really the main thing that's holding you back, so I would just deathmatch, practice your aim, practice your recoil. Practice your movement too. People don't really think about this, but movement plays a really big part in aiming in duels. Being able to strafe, counter strafe yourself so you can get the accurate shot off before waiting for your own guy to slow down, like you're holding W and then instead of letting go of W and shooting, you quickly tap S so you instantly stop and get full accuracy. So yeah, work on your aiming, work on your movement, work on your recoil. And I think that's really what's holding you back. But um, also you're not really playing off your teammates, which is not good. It could be your play style. You kind of want to be more of a lurker role. But in matchmaking, it's hard to do that unless you're with a 5Q. And it's still good to learn how to entry, to learn how to flash people in as a support versus always playing as a lurk so you could think about trying to entry more and trying to see what your team's doing and trying to do what'll be best for them to help them get kills or help them win the round even if it means you're gonna die in that case versus always watching the flank so yeah that's another thing you can think about so Again, improve aiming and think about how you want to play. If you want to stay in this lurker, I'm always going to watch the flank and then try to clutch it out at the end if we do end up dying. Versus, I want to learn how to entry, I want to learn how to support. Maybe even I want to learn how to op. So yeah, think about those things. I hope it was helpful. Bye-bye.